Hey everyone, and welcome to the third episode of Evolve, the Evolve Project. And we're back out of that song you heard. Welcome back to it. Let's hear what questions we have today. Hey Kyle, I don't really think I have a question for you. Except I love your videos, I've been checking them out too. So how do you like my groove? <coughs> Wait, oh dude, I should totally do like a theme song for you. Kyle sees is the man, you know he's the man with your life plan. His life is a playground, you know that man is evolving out loud before your eyes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like the laugh at the end. Wow, thank you, Bobby. Well, I guess that's not a question, is it? I didn't... So here's the thing, that's amazing. And I love, first of all, that he just starts singing. And when he started singing in the middle of it, you see this idea show up and he goes, ooh, I wanna do the theme song. Guess why that happened? Because when he started singing, he opened the doors. He opened the doors of new possibility. And now he's going to be our theme song. In fact, welcome to the Evolve Project. Cassis is a man. He's a lot, he's a playground. You know that man is evolving out loud before your eyes. So now that's our theme song for at least two or three episodes. So what happened was he started. And, and by the way, it took guts, right, for him to go, I'm going to make a video, I'm going to put it out, I'm going to post it, I'm going to sing a song in, in contribution to someone else's thing. That's beautiful, right? And he did it not wanting anything in return. He just showed, I just want to sing, I want to play, I just want to be free. And he made this video. And then in the middle of it, the door opener goes, I want to do the theme song. And this is so important because one of the biggest things I talk about at my events is showing up and staying in the room. If you show up and you go, I don't know how to write a book. I don't know how to write a song. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to create. I don't know what'll happen if I leave the job. I don't know what'll... Once you do it, you put yourself in the field of being in the game versus talking about the game. If you think about a football player going, I don't know what the play is gonna be when I get on the field, right. You're gonna, it'll ball will get thrown to you and then you'll get what to do when you have the ball. And you're like, well, I don't know. What if someone tackles me? You could get to, like, no one would do that, right? So if a football player didn't know the play-by-play -play of what to do, he might think that I, I have to not go on the field, but luckily he went on the field enough to know the way the game works is you go with the moment. You go with what happens. And this is the difference between watching the game of life from the sidelines and showing up. So I love Bobby. In fact, I'd love to offer him a ticket to my next event because he just showed up and made a video and didn't know what was gonna happen. And a lot of times when we're scared from the leap, I'll never forget when I was in the car with my buddy Diego and I said, should I let go of this thing? And he said, you can measure what you'll lose and you can't see what you'll gain. And that's something I've always moved from. Whenever I'm letting go of something, whenever I'm gonna leap, I can see what I'll lose. I can see that I might lose my, you know, people's attention. I can see that I might lose this for sure audience that I have. I might lose this relationship. I might lose all this, you know, but I can't see what I'll gain. And everything I'm doing right now is all in the category of what I would gain that I didn't see when I leapt. There were so many leaps that I've made in my life. When I was a kid, when I leapt working at McDonald's, when I leapt you know, doing jobs I didn't like, when I leapt doing bars and then started switching to comedy clubs, when I leapt comedy clubs and started doing more colleges, when I leapt the comedy scene and started combining transformation, when I leapt just transformation and really creating my own thing, all of those leaps led to here. So I really wanna thank Bobby because he leapt, made a video, didn't know what he was gonna say, and then went, ooh, actually in the middle, I think I wanna make a theme song for you. And that's what happens when you show up. If you don't know how to do anything art-wise, artistic, creative-wise, you start. And someone said, you, you find your voice by using it. I don't remember who said it, but someone said, you find your purpose by using it. You find, that's how you find your voice, by showing up and not knowing, just going, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Cool, and I'm gonna film, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna do whatever. Show up and stay in the room. 
and you won't believe how many answers show up as you start to show up and be the player in the game and not watching from the sidelines. So I wanna thank Bobby so much. Bobby, please write info at kylecease.com and we'll give you tickets. I just realized everyone will write it and say they're Bobby. So Bobby, write me from your Facebook page. Don't, no one go to, leave me alone at info. Bobby, give me, give me an email and we'll get you tickets. So thank you for singing. Thanks for being a part of our lives and thanks for being a part of the show now because the next episode, I'm totally using your song. So as you heard on Evolve Project, thanks for watching. He's a playground.